So today we are going to talk about horseshoe crabs. Now we have purchased three horseshoe crabs over the last, I don't know, year or two. And uh, the first two did alright for a long time. And then uh, one of them ended up dying, a larger one. And then a small one, it did molt. But then we never found it. Or maybe we just found its shell, I don't know. So we purchased another one because my wife really liked them and after about two or three weeks we didn't see it and that was in June and now we're into October and uh, I mean so that puts us at four or five months where we haven't seen it. But today I walk into the fish room and I get home from work just kind of like I normally do and lo and behold right there is a horseshoe crab. Not an overly exciting pet, but uh, I mean, they're pretty cool overall. I mean, they're 445 million years old, or they've been around that long, and probably longer. Uh, you, you know, they, they're they pretty easy to take care of. You know, your regular reef stuff, 72 to 78 degrees. Linony, 1.023 to 1.025, which I'm sure you could go a little bit, swing a little bit more than that. Now these guys get pretty big, they grow up to 2 feet long and 12 inches wide. And they need things in the water just like a reef tank would with calcium, magnesium, iodine. The iodine helps with their shells and the calcium and magnesium do as well. And they live 20 to 40 years in the wild. They take 8 to 12 years to be mature, so I mean it takes a long time for them to grow. They'd have to eat quite a bit. They'll eat just about anything. Uh, Worms, clams, crustaceans, algae, just about anything they can, you know, get their hands on or their little tiny pinchers. Uh, they're not actually a crab at all. They are in the family uh, Chelicerate. Chelicerate. I'm sure there's a proper way to say that and I'm probably not doing it. Uh, which is a subphylum that actually includes arachnids. So these guys are, you know, more related to spiders than they necessarily are uh, crabs, which is kind of seems mind-boggling. They, they're pretty cool. I mean, they got blue blood. People actually catch them, and they get their blood out of them, and we use in vaccines. So if you've ever gotten a vaccine, think a horseshoe crab. They have 10 eyes. You can kind of see their main eye right there. But they've got sensors all over the front, even one in their tail. So yeah, this guy's been missing for months. And we got them because this is, was originally built as my son's touching tank, is what he calls it. It's just kind of a big open top aquarium that I built. It is a 55 that I cut and laid down. This lighting does not like the camera because we got the blue over there and it kind of shifts into a white yellow. But uh, it's a 55 cut down, laying on its side. So it is 48 by 22 and a half. And then it's 10 inches of glass, top to bottom. But I run about eight inches of water. Um, so I think that is something like 35 gallons, but it is a large 35 gallons. I mean, Picks up a lot of space. Got mangroves in here, uh, a whole lot of pallies and zoas and a couple mushrooms in there. And they all do pretty good despite this tank being kind of nasty. I just kind of let it do whatever. This, this hair algae, it was all over. I left it alone, didn't pluck any of it or anything. And it, it just is slowly dying off. Things eat it. Uh, the crabs eat it. The starfish eats it. Apparently horseshoe crabs eat algae, so maybe it eats it too. But we originally got these because you see it at like, you know, aquariums and stuff that kids can touch the horseshoe crabs. You can actually see on his nose there, there's a couple little eyes. There's a little rhinoceros spike. But he's pretty cool to watch run around. See all his little feet. They look like little aliens if you flip them over. And yeah, that's weird. So there we have it. 
Our missing creature, the horseshoe crab, must be eating. I put a lot. I put pellets in here every day, and occasionally other things like krill or you know reef frenzy, something like that, frozen foods. So I'm sure he scavenges whatever the fish don't eat, or the starfish. Thanks for watching. As always, tune in. I hope you learned something. Until next time, hit subscribe, like, turn your notifications on. Thank you.